This video is sponsored by Alcet E Homes, whose mission it is to accelerate the advent of sustainable healthy living systems around the world. Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla just held their Q1 earnings call and boy, did Tesla deliver on this one. Tesla has become a runaway train that simply can't be stopped. So let's check it out and let's dive right in. We already knew that Tesla made a record-breaking quarter in deliveries, but we didn't know if they were profitable or by how much. But Tesla just made their best quarter ever. Their net income was the highest ever in Tesla's history. And that is in Q1, the worst quarter in a year. So that votes very well for this year for Tesla. Yep, it is going to be the breakthrough year we have been talking about since last year. And Tesla had $594 million in gap operating income. And this was of course the seventh quarter with profits in a row. And a couple of years ago, many short sellers and haters were talking about if Tesla just needed to start to deliver on profits for them to change their tune. Well, they have done so now, seven quarters in a row. And not only that, Tesla is growing fast, making a lot of EVs and making good profits on their EVs with 26.5%, while everyone else is losing money with every EV they sell and only wishes they have such a big margin on their ICE cars. And the Tesla Model 3 became the best selling premium vehicle in the world, beating BMW 3 Series. So not just the best selling EV, but the best selling car in its class in the world. And if you are wondering why everyone is so affected by the chip shortage and Tesla seems to be doing quite well, that is because Tesla is a nimble company that can quickly change direction as they wrote in their earnings calls letter. In Q1, we were able to navigate through global chip supply shortage issues in Pi by pivoting extremely quickly to new microcontrollers while simultaneously developing firmware for new chips made by new suppliers. Yes, Tesla just quickly make new firmware for new chips. Let's see GM and Ford do that. Yes, another showcase of how quickly Tesla can move and the old OEMs seems to be moving in slow motion compared to Tesla. And Tesla's energy business is also growing like crazy, as we have already been talking about. Tesla can't keep up with demand, and Tesla confirmed that. Energy storage deployment grew 71% year over year in Q1, mainly driven by the popularity of the Powerwall. Demand for the Powerwall continues to far exceed our production rate. As a result, we recently shifted Powerwall deliveries to solar customers only. As we increase our production, rate, we may make it available once again as a standalone product. The recent snowstorm in Texas and other blackout events continues to drive customers towards home energy storage solutions. Yes, this is going to be a big business for Tesla. And Tesla did confirm that the Tesla semi truck will start delivery this year. So that is just so cool. Can't wait to see this truck in action and to show the world and all the doubters that not only is an electric semi truck feasible, but it will be the only logical choice with the huge saving on maintenance and gas. And we got some great pictures from inside the Giga Berlin and Texas, where we can see just how long ahead they are with installing equipment already, even in Giga Texas. And Tesla did say they are on track with production and deliveries from both the Berlin and Texas factory later this year. So that is great. And we did also see their installed capacity chart again, where we can see that they do have a capacity of over 1 million cars. And even though the Model S and X didn't get produced in Q1 and therefore probably won't produce 100,000 X and X, but maybe only 75,000 in capacity. 
capacity, but that is still about 1,025,000 cars they have in capacity. And they will continue to ramp up production capacity in Shanghai, so they are not done there yet, and all of this is without any cars from Berlin and Texas. So the capacity at the end of the year will definitely be much higher. And Tesla Q1 auto rate was the strongest in Tesla's history. And they are moving as quickly as possible to add more production capacity. So Tesla's demand problem is still they can't keep up with demand. Do you remember the fools that said back in the beginning of 2019 that the demand for Tesla had peaked? I believe it's the least of Elon Musk and Tesla's problems. You just had a major miss uh, in the first quarter. Uh, I believe demand has peaked in the US and Tesla still has a big inventory problem. And even in 2020, good old Gordon Johnson said that demand was collapsing. Year. But when looking at the facts and not looking at an aspirational story, demand for their cars is collapsing in Europe, the USA and China, as well as, you know, pretty much every other locale. Well, I guess we could not get a better slab moment for short sellers and stupid analysts, even if we wrote the story ourselves with the strongest auto rate in Tesla's history. And just to understand how fast Tesla is moving, let's take Cadillac that has just been out saying that going forward, every new car they will sell will be an EV, but it will still take them 10 years to switch fully from EVs to ICE. And Cadillac makes less than 400,000 cars per year. So Tesla, in my prediction, will grow with more in 2021 than Cadillac expects to do in nine years time. And I'm only talking about that growth, not even their entire sales number. So forget the 500,000 EVs that Tesla made last year. I am only talking about what Tesla will make on top of that this year. I expect them to make over a million cars this year. So about 500,000 cars more this year. That is Tesla's growth. So they will grow more in one year this year than Cadillac will make of EVs in nine years time. I think this is a good showcase of how fast Tesla is able to grow and the others are not. So Tesla is doing great and more than just great. They are an unstoppable freight train. The short sales and haters has been trying for a decade to kill Tesla and the mainstream media is still spreading thought about Tesla and Ford is talking trash about Tesla trying to make themselves look good with their one EV, but Tesla just keeps on pushing forward, proving everybody wrong quarter after quarter. And this year is no exception. Tesla will make 1 million cars. That is still my prediction of this year. And they're growing faster than anyone else is able to keep up with. They are not even close and they are profitable and not just the company, but the EVs are very profitable and will become better with more local made cars with new factories and with cheaper built cars because of the big casting pieces, own cheaper battery and many other innovation that Tesla is working on. And next year they will not be so battery constrained because of their own battery ramp up. We will have Giga Berlin and Texa up and running soon, pumping out even more cars and batteries for Tesla. And the Tesla solar and energy storage are ramping up so fast that Tesla can't keep up with demand. So yes, the only demand problem Tesla has is still there is just too much demand. It is all looking very, very good in my opinion. And if the first quarter of this year is setting the tone for the rest of the year, we are in the breakthrough year we have been talking about. Like I have said many times before, at the end of this year, everyone will get it. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>